What's up? It's Jaden at Miss Jaden B. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to join the JBays. So if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with slime. And I have my own slime account on Insta. Go follow it. It's at Miss Jaden B Slime. So one of the most trendy slimes at the moment is Floam. Slime. <laughs> so so today, I'm going to teach you guys how I make Floam Slime. It may be a little different than anyone else's, but it's how I make Floam Slime. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get into the video. <laughs> so for the first step, we are going to take a warm glass of water and some borax and pour it in the warm glass of water. Now set that aside for later steps. Okay, now take a separate bigger bowl and some Elmer's school glue. For these steps, I eyeball it. Really, it depends on how much slime you would like to make. If you would like to make a lot, put a lot of glue in. If you would like to make a little, only put a little amount of glue in. I'm going to be doing a medium amount, so let's do this. So, Elmer's school glue. Okay, that seems like enough for me. Now I'm going to take some Elmer's clear glue and put not as much of the white glue that I put in, but a little bit of it in. This holds the foam beads much better than the regular glue does. Now, this step is optional. I'm going to be taking some shaving cream, a very little amount of it, and putting it in, but this is totally optional. You don't have to do any of it if you don't want to. Only a little because I don't want it too fluffy. Now I'm taking some lotion to make it stretchy, and I have some Burt's Bee lotion. <laughs> now I'm doing one or two squirts of soap. Now I'm doing one or two squirts of foaming hand wash. I'm putting in some baby oil, a little bit of baby powder, and one tablespoon of cornstarch. For the next step, it is also optional, but we are going to take some food coloring. And you don't have to use food coloring, you can make it white, but I'm going to, and I'm going to make it a hot pink. And now, take a spatula or spoon or whatever and stir. Okay, for this next step, I put a cutting board or the board that I usually play with my slime on below so when I take it out, it's right there ready for me. Okay, I finished stirring and now I'm going to take this water that we put borax in earlier. I'm taking a regular spoon and slowly, I repeat slowly, putting in some of the water and mixing. This is what creates the slime material. I'm taking my slime out of my bowl and putting it on my cutting board. Now for foam, you want to make sure that your slime is not all the way formed and it's still a bit sticky. So mine is still a bit sticky. As you can see. Let's move on to the next step. For the next step, we are going to take a clean bowl and our slime and our foam beads that we are going to be using. Now, if you're wondering, I ordered these off of Amazon and they're yellow, you can probably see that. Okay, we're gonna open up the package and pour, you don't have to pour all of the foam beads into the bowl, but some of them or most of them. Now we are going to take our slime and put it in the bowl. Boop. So cool. Really get all the foam beads that you want and then you can take it out when you feel like it and then mix all the foam beads in. And you can always add more if you would like. And one of the key things about foam is that when you're making the slime, make sure it's not all the way formed when you're adding the dissolved borax water because you want it to be a little sticky so the foam beads won't fall out and they stick into the slime, which in this slime, they are totally not falling out, sticking perfectly and I'm kind of obsessed. And guess what? 
that's it. Pretty cool, right? You can add as much or as little as foam beads as you want, and I just love foam so much. Also, guys, comment down below what I should name it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, which I'm sure you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to me to join the J-Babes, turn on my post notifications so you get notified when I post weird videos, which is every Wednesday and Saturday, and comment below if you like this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!